Elegant Bradley, Kinsugi. They bring in Kin, this is a cigar vlog. So, this is one of the cigars I kind of don't really know a whole lot of anything about because it just kind of showed up in a bundle. Uh, there's Alec Bradley and there's also Elegant Bradley. So, here's the thing Alec Bradley is started by a guy whose name I don't really recall at the moment, but I got a bottle head of him. Uh, but anyway, he named the company after his sons, Alec and Bradley. Well, apparently, they decided to uh, get into cigars themselves and also have a bit of a weeb thing going on. And that seems to be where this came from. And of course, there's always a stupidly loud diesel in the background. <sighs> anyway, this is looking like it's a uh, candidate for the largest band, except I think this is a tandem band. So I'm going to see if I can get this off here without completely destroying it. Because let's face it, it's big, obnoxious, and going to get in the way very quickly. Yeah, yeah, tandem. It's a dually. Okay, so now that's out of the way. Construction looks top tier. Looks to be a triple cap. It's kind of hard to tell. Especially when my camera doesn't want to focus. But there does seem to be a one, two, three cap seam. So it seems I have no idea what the marketing is. All we uh, are going to get out of this is the taste. And that's basically the only thing that actually matters. Wow, wow. Real, real strong, strong coffee. Like black coffee, right at the gate. Slight touch of the Retro Hill has, I want to say, a little baking spice, a little sweet. But overall, yeah, this is like, uh. Hmm. If you've ever had those, uh. They had them at Costco for a while. There were these nitrogen-infused coffee drinks where you shake it up, give it a smack, open it up, and you had this real strong, rich coffee that would foam like a Guinness because it was nitrogen-infused. It's kind of like... that real, real just dark, dark coffee. With a little bit of earthiness in there. All right, well, so far so good. I'm going to get this down to the first inch, see if anything wakes up. Okay, so, a solid inch in. The still have that pretty good dark kind of coffee-ish name with uh, a little bit of earthiness, a little bitter. There's another flavor in there that I can't quite put my tongue on. Can't, can't, can't quite put my tongue on. Can't quite put my tongue and her finger on the tongue on. Anyway. Yeah, excuse me, I'll set trip over my own words. <laughs> There's another flavor in there that is uh, kind of escaping me at the moment. I want to say almost meaty. Kind of. Not quite. Yeah, Retro Hill is just a nose full of coffee. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of baking spice. Overall, though, interesting. Coffee notes have gotten uh, a little bit mellower, but they're still there. Anyway, I'm going to see this uh, down to the halfway point and see if anything wakes up. Well, it looks about the halfway point. If you're in the long ash for whatever reason. You'd probably stand a good chance of winning this one. This ash is hanging on for dear life. Go ahead and tap that. Flavor so, far, flavor so far has been pretty consistent. Uh, basically just a nice, dark coffee espresso. And I don't know, there seems to be a little bit of a spicy note that's starting to well up. Which is kind of weird because it didn't start off with any spice at all. 
Uh, I've noticed the red trail, or that was originally getting a kind of a sweet note, it has actually kind of turned into a, almost a floral note. Very interesting. A couple of different notes going on here. Basically, this is one of those cigars that I'm thinking that, uh, depending on how your palate's keyed, you're probably going to get a little something different out of this, depending on uh, who's actually smoking it. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this down a nub and uh, wrap it up from there. <laughs> Okie dokie. Getting up on the nub here. Flavors are kind of starting to wash out. So, basically, past the halfway point, I kind of noticed that. Uh, the baking spice kind of started getting a little bit more prominent. Overall, the flavors have been pretty consistent. Dark, dark coffee. Touch of bitter, a little bit of baking spice. Virgil Hill that starts off coffee and kind of sweet, gets into a floral, and then after the halfway point, a very, very earthy floral. Overall, interesting little stick. <laughs> I imagine it's one of those that. Uh, Depending on who smokes it, everybody's going to have something a little bit different to report on it. Which is definitely not a bad thing. Definitely a lot of flavors going on. If you can afford it, by all means, check them out. Beyond that, though, not much else to say. Other than if you like this, <laughs> if you like this review, or any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you have a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch channel Sunday, Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you can't make it live, they'll show up on YouTube eventually. And eventually I will remember to link the VOD page. Also, let me know if I'm being too quiet. I have a bad habit of doing that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. Echo! There it goes. I'll see you next time.